Jack Brown, James is my middle name. James Brown, like the um, you know the old singer dude that's dead now. Yeah, he's dead. Yeah, bless him. He's dead, isn't he? Um, well, I've got sort of two things I do really. Um, my old man's got a couple of tackle shops, so I work in there and I sort of help run them. And uh, also, I've got like an apprenticeship with Nash. Um, so I do all like my, my cart fishing bits, writing, um, attend loads of shows, um, do a lot of filming, uh, product development, um, yeah, all sorts. Mira is £51 and a common uh, £52 and an ounce. Most memorable catcher would probably be a fish I caught um, from a little sand, well, a, a quite a, a large sand pit near my home. Um, just the fact that I almost sort of talked it on the bank. I remember saying to my friends uh, beforehand, like, I'm going down there and I'm going to catch it tomorrow. And, uh, and I did, and, you know, it took quite a bit of hard graft to catch that because actually getting to the area where I was fishing and baiting was probably like a 45 minute walk. Um, and like being a sand pit and this typical English weather, as soon as it rained, it, it turned into like cement and you know pushing a barrel or even just walking through it was a nightmare so I was doing a lot of day sessions and yeah and I, you know I, I caught it yeah on a day session uh, 41 pound real nice old mirror like one of them old Elstowy Bedfordshire sort of strain lovely fish yeah um, I mean after reading Terry Earn's books um, and his time he spent fishing on Raysbury I'd probably say Mary um, you know, reading how he caught it, it's such a, I think it was a wicked captor and, and that iconic photo of when he's sort of cradling it, you know, it looks like a baby whale. It's, yeah, it's beautiful, beautiful fish. If I could go back in that sort of era and, and have a go for it, then yeah, I definitely would. Tea. Coffee when I've run out and that, I have to scrounge it off people. Um, no. Uh, well, there's a few things, but yeah, obviously just being drunk and, and disorderly on a night out. Um, I've got a little, well, I've had a few incidents driving the cars, uh, which, <laughs> yeah, I, my dad ain't watching this. Um, yeah, just being a little bit, well, back in my youth, just being a, being a bit of a naughty, a little naughty boy. Um, funniest rumour, probably that my old man is a multi-millionaire and I, and I lead some lavish playboy lifestyle. That's probably the funniest rumour. Uh, all depends really how busy I am with work, but um, it's sort of the peak times of the year, your spring and your autumn. Uh, I try to get out at least two or three nights, you know, two nights um, and then you know, it obviously depends how busy I'm at work. Some, some, some weeks I won't get out at all and I might not get out for two or three weeks and then I can go and do a full night session. Um, but even if I've only got, you know, a few hours in the evening, especially in the summer, um, I make the effort to get out and, you know, do a bit of float of fishing or, you know, I'm fortunate the Grand Union Canal, like, runs, you know, just behind my house so I can get out, do a little bit on the canal or even just get up the lake um, and have a little walk around and, you know, see if you can see anything. Um, favorite, most exciting method, definitely surface fishing. Um, last year, I've, I've really got into it, and you know, it was always a case of I'd have my floater gear with me, but it would always sort of like sit in the back of the van. But last year, I, um, you know, I made I made a point to take it every time I went, and yeah, it's definitely caught me a lot of bonus fish. You know, last year, you know, when things are looking a bit looking a bit rubbish, um, get a few, few fish going on floaters and. You know, you've got a couple of extra bonus fish, but yeah, probably sur surface fishing is probably the most exciting method, yeah. I've got quite a few favourites, but probably, obviously, Snatch and Lockstock. You know, everyone loves them. Uh, Gladiator, Saving Private Ryan, uh, and Forrest Gump. Can't be a bit of Forrest. 
probably Alan Blair from Nash. Um, the guy, when he goes fishing, is just like a whirlwind, you know, he's so focused in on what he wants to do. He doesn't stop, um, not just carp fishing. I mean, this guy can catch anything, um, you know, be it big chub, roach, perch, um, you know, fly fishing. Uh, and obviously he's carp fishing, um, you know, I've, I've seen the guy stalking for big fish and he's like a heron, you know, I've never seen anything like it, you know, he absolutely you know, he gets right up close and personal with them. Um, yeah, and I'd probably pick Alan, yeah. The Hatters, the Marty Hatters, Luton Town. <laughs> Fittest bird on TV. Um, I don't know, I've got a little thing for Rihanna. Like, she's probably my, she's probably my, like, number one ideal bird that I'd... Yeah, probably Rihanna. <laughs> right, a bloke goes in uh, to Shropodist uh, and he says, um, Mr. Shropodist, <laughs> uh, I keep on thinking I'm a moth. And the Shropodist looks a bit puzzled and says to him, I think you've got the wrong place, like the doctors, the doctors are next door, mate. And he says, oh, I know that, but you left the light on. That was bad, wasn't it? Bad. <laughs>